Hey, in this tutorial series, I'm going to prepare some videos where I will uh, develop some scripts to automate web, web application or desktop application using uh, UFT or QTP. So you already know that um, you can you have to write um, your code using BB scripting in UFT. Um, if you uh, compare UFT as a car, then BB scripting is the driving force that drives a car. That means if you know BB scripting, if you know the basics of BB scripting, then it is easier for you to drive UFT. Um, if your knowledge in BB scripting is good, then you are a good uh, UFT uh, automation script developer. Um, what what I will do? I will um, I will first I will uh, describe or first I will uh, develop some scripts while where I will um, uh, where I will explain the basics of BB scripting. I will I will include lots of example to clear the basics of BB scripting to clear the basic logics of BB scripting that we need that we need as an automation engineer to automate web or text application. And after that um, we will um, develop a QR driven framework uh, to, to, to automate a uh, web application. Now um, uh, in the previous videos I already explained how you can install UFT and also I have described how you can execute BB scripting code from command prompt or from UFT. Now um, I will start from the very beginning. What I will do, I will write a simple script that will add two numbers and display the result of that summation. Um, I already have a unified functional testing UFT open here. What I will do, I will open a new test and I will keep everything default. So here is my test. Every test when you start it, it has a action 1. It has that action 1. So when you start execution, the execution begins from action 1. So action 1, line number 1 is your first execution point from any UFT test. Now um, uh, you need to know one thing that um, in BB scripting, unlike other uh, programming language you don't need to declare vari variables specifically unless you want to um, so it is very it is a very flexible uh, programming uh, scripting language now uh, what I'll do I'll store the numbers in variables for example I store 10 in one variable one variable and I I'm going to store 20 in another variable then I'm going to store result in another variable result means the summation of number 1 and number 2 so now the summation is in that inside this that in result variable to I will display the result to display I, I uh, you need to use print command print and then whatever you want to print so I want to print this result now this is the result so if if I want to execute that means if I want to perform this operation I need to click here in that play button and then the execution will start. So here is the result. See here is the result. Now I want to format this result a little bit. What I will do, I will give a description here so this is actually this is sum sum of two numbers so i will put this 
one in quotation in but double quotation and then i will add this co um, description and the result by using this operator now if i run this uh, result again then see it will give me a formatted uh, result of that sum so here is it uh, so this is this is the formatted result let me do one thing uh, each time i am running something it will this it is uh, generating the results what i am going to do i am going to stop this uh, result generation i will go to the testing and then actually it is in test run I will unmask this one and click OK. Now let me close all of this open result. Now, so to display something in the output window, we are using this print command. So how does this print command works? We can display value stored in a variable or we can display something like this one. Print So what it will do, it will just print um, hello and um, if I run it now, you can see that it printed the sum of the two numbers and it printed another uh, string hello all. So uh, that was my goal to show you how to run VBScape uh, from URT and in the uh, please keep following in the next videos we will describe some other basic features and I will describe um, some other um, web automation uh, scripts and thank you again for visiting this video.